No, don't answer your phone. That's Neptune ringing. <laughs> well, not literally. The James Webb Space Telescope is showing off its capabilities closer to home with its first image of Neptune. Not only has Webb captured the clearest view of the planet's rings in more than 30 years, but scientists say its cameras are revealing the ice giant in a whole new light. That's the latest in a report at Space Chatter. Hi there, I'm Jeff Allen. Please like and subscribe to get all of the latest breaking space stuff directly to you. Now, most striking about the Webb Telescope's new image is the crisp view of the planet's dynamic rings, some of which haven't been seen at all, let alone with this clarity since the Voyager 2 flyby in 1989 when most of you weren't born or had mullets. In addition to several bright, narrow rings, the Webb images clearly show Neptune's fainter dust bands. The telescope's extremely stable and precise image quality also permits these very faint rings to be detected so close to Neptune. The Webb telescope also captured seven of Neptune's 14 moons. Dominating the portrait of Neptune is a very bright point of light, sporting the signature diffraction spike seen in many of Webb's images. It's not a star, but Neptune's most unusual moon, Triton. As the European Space Agency explains, located 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, Neptune orbits in one of the dimmest areas of our solar system. At that extreme distance, the Sun is so small and faint that at high noon on Neptune, it's similar to a dim twilight here on Earth. Neptune doesn't appear blue because of the way Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, captures objects in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns. The methane gas atmosphere so strongly absorbs that wavelength that the planet appears quite dark, except where high-altitude clouds are present. Scientists say these are methane ice clouds that appear as the bright streaks on the planet in these images. Scientists also say, quote, more subtly, a thin line of brightness circling the planet's equator could be a visual signature of global atmospheric circulation that powers Neptune's winds and storms. The atmosphere descends and warms at the equator and thus glows at infrared wavelengths more than the surrounding cooler gases." Unquote. The ESA says more images of Neptune and Triton will be released in 2023. Now you can check out more info on this and all kinds of other cool space news and updates by clicking in the link in the description below Head over to spacechatter.com and please subscribe. We'll get you the latest info quick.